गुड मॉर्निंग किड्स दिस इज जयदीप रक्षित योर डिजाइन थिंकिंग कोच टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन ऑन टेस्टिंग व्हिच इज द फाइनल स्टेप एंड ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिजाइन थिंकिंग वी हैव लर्न एम्पैथी वी हैव लर्न द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिफाइन वी हैव लर्न द प्रोसेस ऑफ आइडिएशन वी हैव लर्न द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोटोटाइपिंग टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेस्टिंग सो लेट्स गेट इन इट <clears throat> what is testing from the word testing itself we can understand as now we have done the ideation and post ideation we have created our prototype now the objective is to test the prototype in the market or with the users so that we can get important feedback and again restart our process of design thinking if at all it is required for your product to be done so let us understand <clears throat> testing also called as execute final solution is tested on a full scale basis the idea that seems the best according to feedback of the customers and end users in the prototype phase will be executed be collaborative and agile so this is the phase of testing where we are going to test our product of the prototype that we have created testing will help to understand what actually works and what does not This step can be most rewarding if the prototype succeed to give positive results or can be the most annoying if the prototype fails. After testing the entire process of design thinking may have to be repeated. If the end user approves the solution then the process of design thinking stops here. Iteration. So once you have done the testing process you might need to go back and go for the iteration of the same process of design thinking again based on the feedback that you have received from your users during the testing phase <coughs> if the end user is not satisfied with the results a design thinker will need to frame a new problem definition by incorporating the insights from the last test phase again emphasize in a better way with the end user go back and again emphasize with the uh, end user in a better way ideate process you have to again go for the ideation process will be repeated followed by prototyping and another round of testing so this is the iteration process when based on the feedback that is received from the testing phase again we go back to the design thinking process and start from the emphasize phase now it might not be the entire prototype or entire product needs to be changed as per the uh, feedback of the users but there might be subtle many changes or subtle changes which needs to be taken care of so again you need to go back to the first phase of emphasize and restart your end user uh, feedback and based on that again we create come back to the same process of defining the problem then ideating the product further with new value additions or as per the value additions needed by the users and then create the prototype further and then again go for the testing phase <clears throat> if the test phase fails to give positive results again another round of iteration will have to be done this way the process of design thinking can stretch infinitely as well launch cycle so once your product is ready you have got a positive feedback from the users from the testing phase or maybe on one more cycle of iteration and you have again tested and you've got the positive feedback from the users now is the time to launch your product so we have gone through all the stages of look listen learn ask lot of questions understand the process and the problem navigate the idea pro- create the prototype of your idea highlight and fix where in the testing phase and launch to the to an audience so this is the phase where we have created our product so after creation of the product it is good to launch your product rather than keeping it on the shelf so much of effort you have already put in in creating this particular product so it needs to go to the market or this needs to execute may it be an event the event has to happen so this is where the launch cycle phase starts so what is the goal is the process of awareness of a problem or sense of empathy towards the audience so this is the stage where you have gone through 
avoid shelving your idea so launch to an audience this is the launch cycle phase when you launch you are saying i am not afraid to be known share your journey so this is the most important phase where the efforts that you have put in during this entire process of design thinking you have accumulated user data you have understood the user you have tried to understand the feedback of the user what is their problem what is their what is their need what is their what solutions they are looking for after going through the entire process of emphasize then the, the process of defining the problem understanding a very clear cut problem then going on to create a ideation of a particular product or a solution based on the problem that has been defined and then going on to make a prototype and the, after doing the testing getting the po positive feedback from the users we must not shelf our product we should launch our product when you launch you are saying i am ready to face the music of the world with my product and share your journey okay so in this phase we go through the same cycle the thinking process of journey where we emphasize we define we go through a phase of divergent when many many ideas and thoughts and many many feedbacks many many users come and talk about then we converge where we define a specific problem in the convergence stage once we define a specific for problem again we go and ideate many ideas and then again we come back and converge to a particular idea and create a prototype once you done that then again we go and test for mul from multiple users who are our persona already defined persona once you have that then get the feedback and then converge into a solution based on the feedback given by your customers so this is the phase where we go through go through the phase of emphasize go through the phase of define go the phase of ideation go the phase of prototype test and then final stage is launch or if there is some negative feedback then again we come back to the stage of emphasize define ideate prototype so it's a cycle it keeps on happening it keeps on changing based on the market feedback and it's very dynamic in nature it is very agile in nature and the most important thing in the design thinking process it is a team effort it is the entire team which works together and creates this entire solution <clears throat> so we go through the process of inspiration where we are problem framing the problem then we are in the process of ideation where we are solving the problem and then the implementation where solution testing is happening okay so reframe opportunity rediscover your user deep needs refresh your solutions reaffirm your user needs re review your activities and strategies <clears throat> divergent thinking what is divergent thinking divergent thinking is the process of devising more than one solution for a problem so when you have a problem you are trying to think about more than one solution for a problem and we will create a path where we have many solutions for a particular problem but we need to find a specific solution so but is but initially first what we need to do we have to find out what are the different solutions <coughs> it refers to the thought process of generating creative solutions the main features of divergent thinking are it is free flowing chain of ideas it happens in a non linear manner that is it does not follow any particular sequence of thinking moreover multiple ideas can emerge at the same time rather than one idea coming up only after the other has occurred non linearity also means that multiple solutions are thought of and explored at the same time this happens in a very short amount of time and unexpected connections are developed between the ideas divergent thinking example so what is the divergent thinking example so let's go through the example of a divergent thinking so this is us or you this is you you have to think about different solution different products or different areas where you want to get into so what are the areas you want to you want to develop a app you want to be in art you want to be in music you want to organize online classes you want to be an architecture you want to be in the automobile 
you, are, you want to eat a fruit salad, you want to make a lemonade stand, you want to be a fighter plane pilot, you want to be in the space shuttle. So this is how our divergent thinking happens. We find different solutions to our career options. So these are the diver different solutions that we are trying to find from the divergent thinking. From here, we move to the selecting a particular solution or a particular career option, which goes into the convergent thinking. Convergent thinking is exactly opposite of what divergent thinking is. The term convergent thinking was coined by Joy Paul Guilford in the year 1956. Requires the design thinker to go through all the possible solutions. So design thinker goes through all the possible solutions. Converges on a single solution or a mix of limited number of solutions. Come up with a single well established best possible solution to a problem. Based on a concrete solution to a problem statement, taking into account all the factors and requirements specified in the problem statement. So it takes care of the divergent thinking thought process, brings all into the paper and then starts thinking on a rational basis and a feasibility basis, what is feasible and what is feasible and what is priority. Based on that, it starts selecting the process and it converges into specific solutions. Convergent thinking requires speed, accuracy, efficiency, logical reasoning and techniques. A thinker is supposed to recognize the patterns, reapply a few techniques and accumulate and organize the stored information. So this is the entire convergent thinking is all about. So we have multiple solutions coming out from the divergent thinking. Once it comes up, then we come to a one particular solution and this becomes our Eureka solution. The principal aspect of a convergent thinking is that it should help us in arrive at a single best answer without any room for ambiguity. So this is the single best answer that we are looking for from the all the other options that we have chosen in the divergent thinking process. Another important aspect of convergent thinking is that judgment is an important part of this process. So here we are judging and we are finalizing on one particular uh, idea or one particular solution. So it is a selection of a particular idea which is coming from many different ideas. So where decision making is a very important aspect because you are going to finally decide something where you want to work upon. So convergent thinking example. So we need to develop a mobile app, mobile app, Android based, healthcare, booking, emergency, all those things converges into emergency medical care mobile app. So these are the things which is required for my product, which is converges into emergency medical care mobile app. So this is a very simple way of illustration. The same you can apply in your career selection as well. So when you want to understand that what you are good at, where you want to make your career, you can have multiple solutions of uh, where you can think of creating your own career where list on all the solutions uh, what are their career options are available for your career depending upon your passion and your interest and your ability and your intelligence because once you have done that that entire divergent process has already happened now you have to converge to a particular line of career so in the convergent process you actually converge to a particular career option say for example you want to crack iit je you want to become an engineer or you want to become a doctor you crack NEET foundation or you want to become a musician or a singer or you want to become a cricketer. So based on your own thought processes and selection you can apply the same skill of convergent thinking and divergent thinking and convergent thinking. So now once you have created your own idea, launch your own product, you are in the launching cycle phase, you have to talk about your product to the world. How do you talk about your product to the world? In today's world, everything is about story. How you are, how beautifully you can create a story and express your story to the world will make sure whether your product is going to be a successful product or it is not going to be a successful product. 
even if you in your school when you want to talk about your project your project might be a very simple project which talks about a very simple way of illustrating the project but it depends on how you actually talk about your project in a very storytelling format which clearly defines and which clearly explains what exactly is your project about similarly for your career you can create a storyline why you want to offer a particular career which talks about yourself and your personality so it's all about storytelling okay storytelling is the most powerful way to put your ideas into the world today storytelling is basically giving voice to your personas story which you have developed in the experiment phase <coughs> storytelling can be done using storyboard visual illustration of your idea prototypes developing and testing ideas at early stage before large scale implementation role play to act out the experience to give better understanding of your idea so this is about the storytelling so you whatever we do in our life whatever we create careers or job business wherever we go in our school in our life we all love to tell stories stories are the best way to communicate or express ourselves visual storyboarding so visual describes the series of activities or solution idea you draw the touch point of your idea <clears throat> so basically what you are doing is you are creating the story in a visual representation way so you want to talk about your story you create pictures and express your story in the form of pictures it explains the visual model explains your stories in a better way that clearly defines in the user's mind what is your product or what is your idea is all about so storyboarding is a visual illustration of your idea for the easy and the effective communication with the users storyboard will include your persona need statement solution illustration and impact or end result of the solution concept so this is how a storyboarding can be created for your own idea and you can launch your product or your idea in the storyboarding format to graphically describe users activities your design idea and communicate idea more effectively to the users to create story narratives right so this is where the ads about a particular brand or a top or a particular business where they come out with different different types of ads where they actually explain the product through the storyboarding format so this is how you also need to explain your idea it is not necessarily it has to be a business idea it can be any idea where you want to express to the world you have written a book you have to tell to the world why you have written this book and what this book is all about so the design thinking processes till now we have learned all the design thinking processes of empathize define ideate prototype testing iteration and finally launching the product or the idea for the users thank you kids